Let's see how we can get rid of unwanted characters in UiPath with the help of, of the .NET commands replace, trim, trim in, trim start, and remove. So first off, we'll have a data set up here in Excel. We have a data set with one value only, but uh, imagine that this could be a thousand values. But uh, this one is having the value one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so forth. And we have a data set in the notepad uh, consisting of the same uh, values, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but with the dashes in. And we want to compare only the numbers uh, with this. The problem is that UiPath will treat these two um, strings as uh, different values. So how do we get rid of these unwanted characters? We can do that with uh, a replace. So um, we'll just... Uh, making two assigns here, assign here, assign there. Then we could uh, control K, call the upper value up from here, string one, like this. And then we'll uh, call the lower string two, creating these two values, control K, remember that. And then we'll make some strings. And then, so we're basically just copy pasting the values in, like this, and then, this here and then we will uh, move in an if it's here and the if will just compare these two and tells us if it's the same value so this one is string one the condition is string one equals string two and then we'll drag in two message boxes like this saying that if this is true then we have a match this is a match, and if it's not true that these two are not e equal, well, this is not a match. Like this. We could try to run it, and uh, the result will be that this is not a match because of the, the dashes here. So we'll run that. And UiPath will tell us this is not a match. So we, solve, uh, we didn't even really solve the problem with the dashes, but we can solve it with the replace, the .NET command replace. So we'll, we'll, after the second string, the string with the dashes, we'll, we'll click the dot, and then we'll type in replace, and then we'll make the parentheses. Then we'll, the old value that we want to replace, we want to replace the dash. So we'll make quotation marks and typing in the dash here. You can see that here. Then we'll uh, make a comma, and then we want a new value. We just we, we don't want anything in it, so we'll just make uh, quotation marks like this, and then uh, the parentheses ends. So this is it. And this one will uh, remove all the dashes and replace them with, yeah, nothing. So um, the string will be uh, manipulated uh, to the same as this one. Let's try that. This is a match, it worked. It's like magic. Um, we will um, let's say that uh, this one would uh, would have the value of uh, some spaces one two three four five six seven eight nine so and then some spaces. We could uh, still use the replace, but uh, we could also use the um, that net command trim. So I'll just copy the value in here. like this, um, and then we could use the replace again with just uh, a space here, but uh, let's try to uh, use the trim. So we'll type in, after the string, we'll type in dot, see here, dot, trim, and this one removes all the white space uh, in the start and the beginning of a string. So let's try that save it and run it. So this one, will well, we can try one without them. So like this, and then we'll compare it afterwards. So we'll run this file, that's without the trim, that should not be a match, this is not a match. Then we'll uh, paste uh, our trim command in, let's try to run that. And this should uh, be a match, this is a match. So now we remove uh, the white spaces. However, we could also use the trim end Let's say that we only want to remove um, the white spaces in the end of a, of a string. Let's say that uh, the value from up here had a white space uh, in the start 
and this one had a white face too, like this, then we could uh, use the trim's uh, end. And this one will remove only the white space um, in the end of a string. Ooh. I'm not sure if I have to run. I think you'll get the point here. So, but this is this was this if was just the visualization of the how uh, the string will match. So this one, uh, the trim end will remove the white space in the end of a string. Um, we could use similarly. We can use the trim start. Let's say that we want to remove uh, white space uh, in front of a string like this, or we could um, let's say that our string was let's do delete the trim start like this. Let's say that our string up here was just a normal one. Oh, one two, th sorry, one two three four five six seven eight nine. So was the first one, and this one. Uh, down here, mm, well, it, and uh, let's say that down here we have like one, two, three, then we have like two, three, four, five, five A's, well, that's just an example, seven, eight, nine, sure. Then we, uh, of course, uh, this is not a match, I don't have to run this if, but um, let's say that we want to remove the A's, we could either use uh, the replace or we could use the .NET command remove. The remove. Uh, works uh, like this remove here then we have to um, specify uh, where um, we um, where we what to say where we um, want to start and remember that this is a zero based index so this one will be one two well sorry zero one two Three, it will start at three and then we will have to move five characters. So what we type in in the remove is three point three comma five like this. And uh, then it will remove um, from position three. Let, remember that this is a zero base, so the first one is always zero. So it will remove from the third position, it will remove it will remove five characters. Let's try that. Check if it's not a match. Hopefully it will remove the five A's and tells us that this is a match. Yeah, that worked. So that's it for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.